amount of government incentive to purchase pre end of financial year this year is I think more than ever. Um, the instant asset write-offs, some have been extended, some haven't. Uh, different size, different revenue uh, rules for each revenue block. Now, the normal piece is we see a big influx of car finance in June and our phones run off the hook from about mid-June onwards. What's available? Have you got this? Have you got that? Can, can we get? Can we get? Now this year, with the demand of cars uh, absolutely off the, off the charts, a last minute purchase is very rare, realistically. The second hand market has gone through the roof. Again, demand of, of new cars, the supply has just not been there for this insatiable demand which the government are stimulating. So a lot of companies and people have bought second hand cars from car sales. Now, that demand has driven up the price and it's driven up the delivery times. What this means is if you want a car next month and you don't just want to be stuck in a what if kind of car, by that I mean not the one you're after, just for the sake of it's car, uh, I suggest getting onto it right now. If it's assets, business assets, go for it, normal turnaround times, except for the bank's lending arms have got pretty significant delays. They've always got delays around June, but after uh, after the difficulties through 2020 and the pandemic and uh, turnaround times really haven't recovered to where they were in 2019. So give your broker, give your intermediary a little bit more time. Do them a favor and not wait till the 29th of June. Just on my behalf, please don't wait till the 29th of June. We'll do it, but it'll be great without the stress. Um, give some notice, even if you're only 50-50 gonna buy something. Get the, get the applications in, get things moving early so there's no stress, so you're not disappointed at the, uh, at the end.